Mm, good morning again. <coughs> a little bit later. Naughty old Francis up to his tricks. You see, this is what interests me. First, love God through Christ. Second commandment, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind and all thy strength. And the second commandment is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. At the moment I'm listening to hard talk on the BBC World Service. Radio 4 turns up into the BBC World Service. It's a Indian scientist lady who was a tree hugger, whatever, but she's a scientist discussing food and other issues in India and how these big companies are rip you off the Monsantos of this world with their monocultures and all the rest of it. Hmm. It's a wicked world. It is indeed. So the point of this ramble is love God first, make God the cornerstone of your life. The capstone. When they built the temple in Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, you start with a stone and base the lot on that. Right, so that's getting one's thinking, one's soul, one's spirit, one's heart, one's mind, everything correctly aligned, focused. And then everything else falls into place. It's very, very simple logic. Doesn't require a genius to follow that line of reasoning. But it's beyond reason. It is a question of faith. Abraham could have had no full view of what would come from his seed. The Abrahamic Abrahamic faith. The Jews, obviously God's chosen people, the Israelites, the Christians and the Muslims. But actually the first child was the bastard child to whom the Muslims trace their or origins. His name's going to come to me. Then there was Isaac. And then Christ came to bring Christ was a Jew to bring God's word to and the Holy Spirit especially to all peoples that's us lot, the Goys, the Gentiles So that's about 4,000 years ago. Abraham was approximately 2,000 years BCE, before the Christian era. We're obviously 2012. So that's putting history into perspective somewhat. I'm a great believer in a table. A table is a table. Now my background originally at school was in physics. What interests me, interested me and still interests me is sort of deep space and quantum physics and pions and leptons and muons and the Higgs boson, all that stuff, string theory and all the rest of it. I'm quite capable of holding my own 
with any top world scientist in this subject. I'm a bright bloke, but that doesn't interest me entirely. I've got a highly intelligent, fine brain, good, lucky old me. It's a gift from God. I choose, God's chosen for me, another path, table, right? Mensa, mensai, mensam, mensai, mensai, mensa. That's the declension of the first declension in Latin. A table, O table, accusative case, mensa, table, and on it goes. But it's a table. No, it's not. It's energy. Yes, it is, because you can put things on it. Therefore, it is a table. So I prefer to be just a table. This is fire. Light, fire, heat, etc. So I put my hand in that, like dear Vincent van Gogh, he wanted this courting his cousin, I believe, with the father, and they were upmarket lots and so on, and he put his hand in the candle and said, allow me to be with this woman as long as I will hold my hand in the candle. Of course, the, the father of the woman thought he was mad. <coughs> Quelle surprise, surprise. <laughs> Anyway, happy thoughts. Let's rejoice. There's a reverb, an echo in this room, isn't there? I found a drum in this place. So, rentrons à nos moutons, returning to our muttons, to our sheeps. What is the plural of one sheep? Two sheeps, obviously. There'll be more. Light. There is the light of Christ shining within me. I am blessed. I am born again in Christ. Amen. Amen.